I just found what seems to be the control system that is keeping a lot of kids inside pink fluid pods. We have to deactivate it. Super, just what she needed. Thanks, Jay. Ah, <laughs> thanks! Give you more.
Well, it's your turn to shine, little hamster. Bring us the pink floppy disk from that room. Go! Safe room. Wearing this costume is very hot. No, she is a girl. A very, very pretty one. I hope everything goes well. When my baby puts on her dress, she looks just like Eliza. I believe that little by little, he will end up transforming into her. It is inevitable. The Lord wants it that way! No doubt, I have been chosen by the great Baphomet, but I feel like empty. 
Maybe I'll have to do experiments on children again to kill time. <sighs> These gossiping nuns seem to be whispering. What are they up to? For heaven's sake, what's happening here? I don't understand anything. A saint like me doesn't need the adulation of ordinary, humble humans. I... <laughs> you! What are you doing here? How many times have I told you not to take that dress off? Walk around here. Go back to the pink room to play. Baby B. I just want to take you somewhere safe. Come with me. How dare they stain the sacred name of Baphomet! I have a book here that talks about him. Maybe I can review a couple of things. Well, what is all this? What is my baby doing out there with the nuns? to that itinerant ice cream man! Okay, time to finish this. Elisa... Baphomet? A crazy nun? I, I, I don't understand. Is it a memory? Oh, I just need to clear my head a little. I need to put things in order and, and eliminate those children. Oh, I have the ideal weapon for them. Guys, it's time to find that ice cream man and defeat him once and for all. This will be his final chapter. Let's go! Yes! Let's go. Yeah!
Rod, we finally have you surrounded. This time, we are gonna hunt you down. No, oh, stupid children. Have you not realized where you are, huh? Oh, I am so sick of you. I'm going to break you into a thousand little pieces with this little freeze gun here. <laughs> <laughs> Filthy children, you won't make me think about my past again. Uh-uh. If I destroy you, everything that happens in my head will disappear forever. Like my frosty breath in winter, it will vanish. Thinking about tough times in the past. Kids at school were mean about my weight. None of them were still breathing. And my dad, who was my mean family, was guilty for my fatness because he had the secret recipe to make poison ice cream too. And he was too, he was too carefree with I don't understand. Did, did he move me from that convent because of that recipe? It's sad because he never really loved me. As a parent, he, he, he seemed more interested in being famous and rich. And my mom, the only one who actually cared about me, was a crazy nun who treated me like a girl. Is she still alive? Did she kill my dad for revenge? And if my real dad wasn't Joseph, was he that evil lord named Baphomet? <laughs> it whatever I try to do, I can't undo the mistakes of the past. 
life feels meaningless My revenge and my dreams Like ice cream on a summer night Are melting away We both know right now Wordly matters are handled with care But shall we embark, Brother Nazareth And take on the dare Sister it's been a while since our talk began. Can't say your real name. You still hidden in the shape of a magical cup. What's your suggestion? What's your plan? Rod, the human creature you brought to life inside Sister Madeline is showing true repentance. Don't you think he deserves one more chance? I can't do anything. That intellectual fate. I protected him from her mother with my rules, but she confused Nazareth with Baphomet. Can she be more full? Rod had good karma, but he already spent it. I can't do more, sister. My hell has already ended. They are all living beings, just trying to stay alive. If we help them forward, for sure they'll survive. They need us. We need them. We share one objective. If they succeed, we'll return to heaven. It's our incentive. Let life itself be their teacher. See you soon, my dear sister. I can hug you again. I am very sorry for everything that happened. Please forgive me. I love you. You are my mother? Yes, it's me. Finally, I recognize you as my son, a grown man. I hope we get to know each other in the afterlife. Dad! We were so worried. You just disappeared without saying anything to us. Uh, but Jay, what happened? You have also gained a lot of weight. Is that possible? My goodness. Ah, Chloe, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> It has been quite the adventure. I'll tell you everything when we get home. <laughs>